Hey, what's up? Long time listener, first time caller. So, uh, being a fat guy is going pretty good for me. I'm sure half the crowd can uh, attest to that. I uh, actually wanted to be um, going to the gym. I was looking to slim up a little bit, so last summer I uh, decided to go in the mornings. You know, you wake up in the morning, but I work in finance, so friggin' Like, in order to work in finance, you have to be there really early before the market starts so that if anybody has some sort of, like, flip out fuck thing with their account, you fix it, like, before anybody loses their shit. So we uh, have the option of going in the morning at, like, 5.30 in the morning. Well, that's when the gym opens up. So I freaking go down there at, like, 5.30. I'm, like, brain dead to the world. I'm, like, I am legend. I walk into the place. <laughs> I do my thing. I come home. This one day, I fucking come home to my house. I open the door, and I look up, and there's like a bat, like swooping around my living room, and I'm like, oh, what the fuck I got? I turn into like a six-year-old girl, I'm like pissing my pants, I, I like close the door, you know, and, and I'm thinking, all right, what do I do, what do I do, towel, let's get a towel, get the bat out of the house, so I'm like, is there a towel, and I look away, and I look back, and the bat is gone, so I'm like, uh, my entire house turned into like a haunted house at this point. Like every corner, I'm thinking I'm gonna like turn and be like, ah, bat face, like right in my face. So I'm like, you know, looking at all the rooms everywhere. I go on the internet. I'm like, can I fucking smoke a bat out of this shit? No, bats are smarter than the internet. I don't know if you knew that. Finally, no bat. And I mean, I gotta get to work. I just worked out for crying out loud. Uh, I got a time schedule to keep. So I, I just justify it. You know, maybe that bat left. Maybe it squeezed through that little hole between the AC and the window. Maybe it left when I was looking for a towel. Eh, it's probably gone. So I'm cool with it. About two days later, I tell my wife, hey, I found a bat in the house. Oh, did you catch it? I'm like, no. Word to the wise, my friends. Never tell your wife that you found creepy vermin in your house and didn't catch it. Word. All right, so uh, you guys miss the summer? Because I do. If you want a little taste of summer, feel the old sunburn on the back, I suggest you have your wife shave your back with a rusty old razor. That will feel like a sunburn in no time. Uh, let's see. Um, I used to work in a tampon factory. No shit. Fire my born and raised. That's not true. I was born on Cape Cod. But I did work in a tampon factory in the fitting room. That's the joke around town. I didn't write that. That's been in the town for centuries. However, I did quit because they listen to country music. Apparently, for me, slaving away in an assembly line for a week and a half, okay, country music, whoa, get the fuck out of this place. I, uh, kind of a music elitist, I'd say. Like, I, uh, people are always coming up to me and being like, hey man, you heard that new song? You know the one, by, insert, new band here, and I'm like, no man, I don't have cable, I don't listen to the radio, I have no idea what you're talking about. No, no, you know it. You'll, you'll know it when I play it. Uh, no, I don't have a direct line to like the Matrix operator where I can be like, Tank, download me all the crappy new songs that have come out for the past three months. <laughs> oh, that song. That's what you meant. <laughs> so this open mic thing's kind of like karaoke, I guess. You know, kind of a round robin deal. You guys like karaoke? There's uh, some rules you should follow the next time you go sing karaoke to ultimate crowd-pleasing capabilities. Rule number one, pick a song everybody knows. Don't go up there thinking that that third song that uh, ABBA wrote was awesome. You know, Fernando, that was good, uh, Dancing Queen, but yo, that third song, woo, it's gonna smoke this crowd. <laughs> Secondly, don't pick a song that has a lot of downtime. Like, you might think you're a good dancer, but 16 Measures comes up on that little screen and you're like, oh yeah, what, I'm gonna roll the dice. Robot. All right, now I'm just gonna stand here and wait for that little thing to move until it comes time for me to sing again. And third, never pick a song that repeats the same fucking lyric for like a minute and a half at the end. Like if the crowd didn't know that it's hip to be square, like they will by the time your song is over. Better alive? No shit, I think we got the idea. Anyways, that's all I got. Thank you very much.